After a serious fire displaced three families back in March, the Wildwood community came together to help out. Today, the Harlem Globetrotters helped make those families and our local heroes the stars of the show. It's not a community anymore to me, it's more of a family. The fire that ripped through the Wildwood Crest Apartments last March took almost everything, except for the families that occupied them and the supportive community. I'm just so proud of when you have situations like this, how our community comes together. Shortly after the fire, the Lunch with Lynch Foundation was approached by team members with the Harlem Globetrotters. They heard about the fire and the brave firefighters and community members who helped save the day and they wanted to do something. Today, two of the families who had been relocated located were surprised with 20 VIP tickets for the Globetrotters August show at the convention center. I was just thinking of going to meet up with John Lynch and the firefighters and just thanking them. That's it. I didn't expect any any big thing done for us and I really appreciate everything that's been done. They'll be sitting behind the bench and a part of the experience and enjoying the day while the Globetrotters are here in uh, the middle of August. Lynch and the Wildwood Mayor were two of the Good Samaritans who happened to be in the right place at the right time the day of the fire and lent a helping hand to the first responders. Last time I saw these kids, we were catching them from burning buildings. So when you're in politics, these are the things that make your heart feel good. In addition to the tickets, the Lunch with Lynch Foundation was able to provide the families with some extra money. And to end the day, the kids got their own private lesson learning a few tricks from a globetrotter. These young kids and their families that are now uh, being able to uh, move on. And uh, the community stepped in. A lot of people stepped in to help them. And that's that's what it's all about. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.